guys, welcome back to another Cupshe haul. You guys know I am a huge fan of Cupshe this year. I think this is my third or fourth Cupshe haul, you guys. I am in love with their bathing suits and I am one lucky girl because they let me pick out some more. Now, I know that we're at the end of July, so I only actually, believe it or not, Cupshe is known for the bathing suits and swimwear. I only have one bathing suit to show you because they have awesome clothing as well. So I picked some pieces that I figured would be transitional and will take us into the F word. In this case, the four letter F word is fall. I know there are the pumpkin spice latte girls out there. I'm wearing this color just for you all. I do like pumpkin flavored things. I almost said I'm not a pumpkin spice latte girl. I'm not a latte, but I like pumpkin spice stuff. I'm just not a huge fan of fall only because after fall comes winter. All right, enough. Check this out, you guys. This is another one piece by Cupshe. I love it. It has a plunging v-neck. I love the accentuation on the waist. The side has a little peekaboo that we love. And you guys, I paired it. I'll show you this suit more in a second. I paired it with this gorgeous kimono or cover-up. You can see how far it goes down. You can pull it, you know, either way. It's nice and loose. Exactly what you want. Easy breezy, but covers where you want to be covered while you're walking around the pool or the beach or to the pool or the beach. But the reason why I picked this was because check out this color palette, you guys. It's got a black background with a floral print, but the colors are in those fall colors. So I thought that you all could purchase this now, wear it as your summer cover up, and then in the fall, you can wear this over like, in the beginning of fall, it could be a tank or cami, t-shirt and as fall goes on if you just want to use this to add some color you can have an all black outfit on with black long sleeves and put this over it and it would be adorable i could just picture it all right let's check out this bathing suit a little more wait you see the back now don't laugh at me you guys know i can't reach my back when i do the self tanner <laughs> plus i have um believe it or not as much as i sunscreen stay under an umbrella the whole thing i tan very easily so uh, i do have some tan lines from my vacation all right Check this out. See how it's all twisted right here? So what you do is you get it around your neck, you twist the straps as long as you want, and then you come forward, bring it around your waist, and then bring it back again and tie it. Now, I was playing around with it, and if that was not enough slack for you to go around your waist twice, you can just do a bow in the front, because I did that as well, and it looked really, really cute, until then I looked at the model, and I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to tie it in the back. Which reminds me, were you guys cracking up last week with my Walmart Wednesday <laughs> and the shirt fiasco? I had so many funny comments, people saying, well, I kind of like it the way you first did it, or even the model had it wrong, or I know another YouTuber who discovered the same thing. So I thought that was kind of funny. But anyway, that's uh, the nice thing about this. It's adjustable. You know, there's no snap or button and that's the end of you. You absolutely can adjust these straps and they are super, super long to accommodate what flatters your figure. So one last look, here it is. I did a nice self tan for you guys. It hasn't, it's barely processed. I did it this morning. But yeah, I really think this color palette will take you right into fall and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And don't forget with Cupshe, if you spend $65, you can use my discount code Liz15 and get 15% off. I let you guys go too quickly. I wanted to show you that <laughs> I'm back. This um, little sarong sheer skirt or cover up or whatever you want to call it, there's probably a name for it. Your girl doesn't know it offhand. I wore it um, in a picture with this bikini and it's very similar to this color here, but just the two piece version. So I thought I'd grab this really quickly and see if it works with the one piece. If you know it does, how gorgeous does this look? So, I don't know you guys, what could you do? You can interchange all of this stuff on cup sheet. So you can get the bikini in this, like I originally did. You can get this one piece and wear this over it. You can wear the kimono I just showed you. You can wear this with anything black. Now this one's not gonna take you into fall, obviously. It is strictly for wearing over swimwear, but these things last forever, you guys. I don't even throw it in the dryer. You can though. I just put it in the washing machine and it's gonna last you forever. So this is another option for a cover up. 
with this swimsuit as well as that other two piece. All right, I had to do that. I'm gonna try not to talk too much. I make these videos so long with all of my babbling, but I think some of you guys like the longer videos, comment below. All right, I'll be back with more cup sheets. All right, you guys, I am back and I just made an amateur mistake, filmed this whole scene, got undressed, started to put on the next outfit. Something made me check my video and I never hit record. I've been doing that a lot lately. All right, check out this awesome shirt dress by Cupshe. I absolutely love it, you guys. Look at this print, it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, this one might not be a transitional piece, but so what? There's plenty of warm weather left. I would give you to the end of September for this. Unless you live in a warmer climate, then you tell me how long you can wear this kind of stuff. In fact, I'd love to know. Let me fantasize, comment below. <laughs> we get decent days until maybe Halloween and then it's, it's a wrap. We go right into the colder weather. By Veterans Day, we see our first snow flurries and it's over with from there. But anyway, I absolutely love this dress. I love the sleeves and the pattern is my favorite. I love the colors. I love that pretty green with the orange and pink on the white background. By the way, you guys, I'm wearing my gold leaf earrings. I can link for you my small gold medallion necklace. My bracelets and rings will be linked below in the jewelry section as well. And I'm carrying this adorable little cognac drawstring bag. You can actually take this strap off here and use this as the handle but either way, it's adorable. All right, check out the dress, you guys. Oh, and you guys, these shoes. You've seen these before. These are my Black Heel Nude Double Strap Sandals. I can link them. I just checked inventory and they are good to go for you guys. Lots of shoes are starting to get sold out, but these ones are good to go. All right, so you guys, you know I like to Liz up my outfits. This is a shirt dress and you see how I'm wearing it. Now I'm gonna show you. You guys are gonna crack up how it's meant to be worn. It does not come with a belt. It does not cinch in at the waist. This button is all the way to the top, okay? So this is the actual dress. Now some of you, again, we've talked about this, who like to not uh, draw attention to your midsection and really want to show off your legs, this dress is for you. It gets a little longer in the back. I love it. It's adorable. I can see you guys in it who have that type of a body. For me, my legs are not my favorite feature. So I prefer to accentuate my waist or, you know, the smaller, my smaller upper body, etc. So I, that is why I added the belt. Um, but you guys, I think it would be figure flattering on everyone. Look how cute the details on this are. You guys always know, I constantly saying when you're purchasing affordable clothing, look for the details, but you guys look how these little ties on each side, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, now let me Liz up the outfit for you unbutton one at the very least and cinch it up with a belt. Now this belt I've had, it was actually part of a trio of belts and I can link similar one for you below if you want to get this exact look. But here's how I wore it, more cinched in at the waist and then a little lower with undoing that one button. Uh, that's just me. Tell me what you think. You guys know how I like to do things and I do like when you put the belt on you can decide if you want to cinch it up more or less and pull the material down any which way you like it. And you can see exactly how I posed when I first got all done up in this dress on my Instagram account. You guys, you can follow me over there. It's just at Life and Style by Liz. I am also promising to post more reels over there. Those are really fun. And if you haven't checked me out over there, please do. So I love this dress by Cupshe. And again, here's one last look at it. You can certainly wear it as a bathing suit cover up but I prefer to wear it as a dress because I just feel like it would be wasted, thrown in a beach bag once you're laying in your chair or wherever. I also was thinking that this would be really cute to wear out to dinner because, you know, when you're sitting at a dinner table, you really just see your upper half and this is just gorgeous. All right, guys, I am back with my next outfit. I did switch out some of my jewelry. Just wanted to show you that I have my long um, diamond shaped gold earrings. And then I haven't worn this in a while. This is my black, black, totally losing it, gold padlock. I think I meant to say lock, I think. I'm really stretching it. Uh, necklace here as well. All right, so Cuffshe, as I said, has clothing. So look at this, you guys. This is a cami or a sleeveless shirt. It has this really pretty lace right here at the top. I love the way it fits. I'm wearing it in a size medium, I believe. You know that everything will be linked below along with a reminder that my cup sheet discount is Liz15 to get 15% off, orders over $65.
And then I also will put the sizes next to my legs um, for everything that I'm wearing. So I also have on these gorgeous pants. Yes, these are work pants, dress pants, whatever you want to call them by Cupshe. They come with this belt and it's got a cute little tortoise uh, shell uh, buckle kind of right here and you just kind of pull it through. Now you don't have to wear the belt. You can put your own belt on. You can go beltless. I just read, um, I believe it was in Style Magazine. I subscribed to their emails and for fall, what's in style for fall 2022, they said basics, white shirts, I'm not kidding you, black pants. I know I've been a fan of black pants my entire life but they're actually on trend if that makes any sense. So they're saying black trousers. What are these? Black trousers and the white shirt. So everything is on trend according to InStyle. Um, I just paired my black platform sandals with this outfit. I cannot link these, but I can link these below for you. And they're still available. And then these are high-waisted. I love that they have the, um, I guess you call them darts right here, but they, they look like very tailored pants. And I'm looking to see, so they're high-waisted, a straight leg, but they taper at the bottom a bit. So they're not skinny, don't worry. Um, and they're not wide leg or anything like that. They're just kind of a straight cut that maybe tapers in a bit as you get to the ankle. All right, I also grabbed this off of the Cupshe website, you guys, because I thought it is, you know, marketed on the website as a beach cover-up. So this is like, um, a black sort of sparkly material. So it's probably gonna go with any of your bathing suits. I mean, black, you know, goes with everything. But I thought you could also wear it in the winter time, you know, just for like a fashion statement sort of. So it goes over the, this outfit. It would go over a jumpsuit. It would go over a dress. If you're super dressed up and you're going to a wedding or out at night to dinner and you're not one who wants to maybe show their arms, you guys, this is so nice and lightweight. It's really just an accessory. It's not gonna do much for you as far as keep you warm or make you hot, which we don't want in the summertime, but it's, it's merely an accessory and it's really, you know, just perfect for evenings. Look at this, you can wear it like this. I don't know, I just think it's gorgeous. So I had to include it in my haul. Again, it's meant to be a bathing suit cover up, but I consider it an all season kimono. It would look cute in uh, winter time for those Christmas parties. If you have something that you're wearing and you just feel a little bare and you want something over your shoulders or over your upper arms, this would work for you guys. Hi. <laughs> Apparently I did not um, link my necklace very well. You guys know I'm in a hurry all the time. So I promise you there's nothing wrong with it. There, That was a Liz malfunction, not a wardrobe or jewelry malfunction. Don't get mad at the necklace for it. All right, I think we got the hint. We've got the gorgeous white shirt, the gorgeous black trousers. Everything's on trend right now, you guys. And don't forget this, you can wear it now and you're gonna wear it all season, I promise. All right, you guys, I am back with more cup sheet. Now I kept on the same lace uh, cami that I just showed you. Let's not take it off here. Hold on, a little disheveled. And I added this, see, same lace cami. I added this gorgeous crochet cover-up. I've shown you this before one other time, but this is another awesome example of something you can get off Cupshe that is a great transitional piece. So as summer gets a little cooler at night or end of September, early in October, whatever, this gorgeous crochet, what's meant to be a cover-up, I assume, on a bathing suit. I think that's how I showed it last time. In fact, I will show a picture if I have one. I may not, I can't remember. Um, but I love to wear these kind of things, these kimonos or long sweaters, etc., with shorts. I think it looks so cute. It extends your wardrobe into the cooler weather. You don't have to put your jeans on yet. You're going to be nice and toasty warm with this uh, crocheted kimono over it. So I'm just wearing my cutoff shorts. Well, I can link these for you below. These are by Scoop from Walmart. And then I'm wearing my clear sandals that I absolutely love by Dream Pairs. I will link those as well. And of course, my LV dupe, that's what I call this, crossbody bag that I love so much. And this is an entire outfit, you guys. Tell me that this kimono does not dress up a pair of denim shorts. Any of the ones that I've shown you today can do the same thing. So you can wear that black one with a black tank. That would be adorable with black shoes and a black purse. Or as I'm showing you, this white gorgeous cami from Cupshe paired with this crocheted um, 
cover up here. Now this, another thing that I like about kimonos in the summer with shorts, I showed you guys this stuff last year. If you've been here, comment below if you remember, but a lot of us don't like the back of our legs, right? But in the front, we can wear the shorter shorts and they look fantastic, but then we're a little weird about the back. That's me anyway, comment below or like the video if you kind of get it. So wearing these kimonos gives you just that length that you need to cover this part that you don't like while staying cool and still, you know, weather appropriate, you're not entirely covered up, not wearing long jeans when you really wanna wear shorts. Show off your self tan, right? All right, so I just thought I'd come back out here and show you this look as well. And don't forget, everything is always linked below along with the sizes. All right, you guys, a little close up there, but I am back with my final cup shoe look. You guys, I love this one. Okay, first of all, I did put on this cute little heart necklace. Um, I think I showed you this last week, getting a really hard widow's peak for some reason. What's going on there? <laughs> anyway, check out this shirt. It's off the shoulder. It gathers at the waist, which I love. And it has these adorable bell sleeves, you guys. I paired it with a pair of jeans. Just to show you, cup she is not all swimwear. It's not all shorts. Yes, this is sort of a summery look, but you can absolutely get away with it. Again, I'm going to give you till the end of September. I don't know where I came up with that, but Comment below, don't you agree? I'm really making you guys, can someone comment please? Can you tell I need you to comment? <laughs> I just love talking to you guys and that's one easy way. You can also, if you had a very specific question, DM me over on Instagram at, F, at Life and Style by Liz. All right, also carrying my straw clutch. You guys know I love this. And let me show you these dream pair of shoes again without falling, I almost did that time. These are the ones with the clear double straps. These can be dressed up or down. I think I love them because they match everything. They're adorable and they're nice and low in the heel, which makes them so comfy. All right, and I'm wearing my Express jeans. These are the flare leg. They are cropped, not like to the knee or anything, but you know, just a little above the ankle. High-waisted, I love them. You guys have seen these a million times. I will make sure to link them below. And I think I just got a text that they're having all kinds of sales as well. So you're gonna save money top to bottom. Don't forget, cup she, $65 or more, you get 15% off with Liz 15. So here's the back really quickly. So cute, I love it. I love off the shoulder shirts. They're nice and cool and fun in the summertime. And they're not, you know, the typical shirt that everyone else is wearing. So I think they're different. I love this pattern as well. If you noticed, I showed three different patterns today. I had the black kimono with the fall color scheme. Uh, with the fall color scheme in the flowers. And then this is a floral with a white background. And I also showed you that gorgeous shirt dress. So you guys, I'm branching out here, all right? I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, once again, $65 or more, and you're gonna get 15% off using code Liz15. Thank you again to Cupshe for gifting me all these awesome clothes. I don't know how I got to be so lucky. If you did like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and helps other people to find me. And if you've not already, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications. That way you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. I hope you all have a great two days. And yes, I will see you back here on Wednesday. Bye everyone.